When using your Salon Laser Tweezer for the first time, it is important that you read and understand the user guide before using. Pay particular attention to the warning section. Safety first. The Salon Laser Tweezer has built-in security features for safe home use. The unit must first be unlocked using a key. The security button sequence is then required to activate the unit. This can be found in the user guide. Finally, treatment will only take place when both skin sensors are in contact with the skin. Skin types and power settings. Skin types are classified by the Fitzpatrick skin phototypes. The Salon Laser Tweezer enables treatment of relatively dark skin as well as fair skin types. However, laser hair treatment is not suitable for Afro-Caribbean or black skin complexions. It is also not suitable for use on grey hair. This table, found in the user guide, identifies different skin types and the associated recommended maximum power level. For example, if you are olive skinned, the maximum recommended power level is 3. The maximum power level for one area of your body is not necessarily the maximum power level for another area. The patch test will confirm the maximum power level for your skin type on the areas being treated. Virtually all body hair can be treated with the Salon Laser Tweezer. However, you should avoid treating hair near the eyes. Patch test. Before treatment or doing your initial patch test, ensure you are familiar with the suitable skin types and patch test sections in the user guide. 24 hours before treating an area, it is essential to do a patch test. You should treat two to three hairs on each power level up to the maximum power level for your skin type. If you feel any discomfort, use the next lower power setting. Any localised redness after treatment is caused by the destruction of the hair follicles and is quite normal. However, if any redness remains after 24 hours, this would indicate you have selected too high a power level for your skin type. Any longer lasting redness will also disappear. As skin colour varies on different areas of the body, different power levels may be required. always run a patch test on each area being treated. Preparation Because laser treatment needs a hair to be present in the follicle for it to work, methods which pluck the hair, such as epilators, waxing and tweezing, are not suitable for use before or between treatments. Microdermabrasion discs, shaving and cream depilatories are all ideal hair removal methods to use between treatments. During treatment, the hair needs to be visible enough for the laser to be aimed around the base of the hair. Long hairs may be trimmed before treatment if necessary. You may find it helpful to use a mirror for treating hard to see areas, such as the face and underarms. A magnifying mirror with times 5 or times 10 magnification is ideal for this. Salon laser treatment. Plug the adapter into the back of the unit and plug into the wall. Use the key to unlock the key switch. The first power level light will flash. Enter the security code found in the user guide. 
The code must be entered within 60 seconds of unlocking the unit. If you wait longer than 60 seconds, or enter a wrong code, two beeps indicate an error. If this happens, turn the key off, wait a few seconds, and then turn back on. Re-enter the correct security code. Select the correct power level for your skin type using the plus and minus buttons. Press the enable button to activate treatment. The power level lights will stop flashing and the orange light on the wand will illuminate. Place the skin sensors either side of the target hair. The white ready light will illuminate when the skin sensors are in contact with the skin and the orange light will turn off. Half press the treatment button on the wand. A red guide light will appear to help target the hair. You can move the wand while maintaining contact with the skin to target around where the hair meets the skin. Ensure both skin sensors do remain in contact with the skin. Fully press and hold the treatment button for laser treatment. The white light will go out and the red laser will be visible. You will hear a series of beeps during treatment. The orange light will come back on when the laser treatment is complete. When moving the wand to the next area, ensure the skin sensors are briefly lifted off the skin to allow the laser to reset. The power level can be adjusted up or down by pressing the plus or minus button. Press the enable button to continue. It is essential to aim around where the hair meets the skin. You may feel a pinprick sensation during treatment. The occasional faint smell of burning hair may occur. This is due to the laser striking the hair above the skin and is quite normal. We suggest treating each hair only once in each session. You can treat the same hair again after 24 hours, providing there is no redness in the area. Do not treat hairs on tattoos, pimples, warts, black spots, birthmarks, burns, nipples, eczema, eyelashes, or hair near the eyes. After use, turn the key switch to lock the unit and remove the key to a safe place away from children. To allow for the hair growth cycle, you should plan to treat hairs six times over a period of six months. Successfully treated hairs will fall out within a few days. Light rubbing will encourage this. You may find it helpful to make a diary entry for each treatment as a reminder to yourself.